Welcome to Product One's technical web series. Today we are looking at uh, Weblink. Uh, so what we are going to do today is we're going to continue from where we left off last week, which was Pro Program. So I showcase Pro Program for parts, and I also show Pro Program for assemblies. So. For those of you who haven't seen the Pro Program video, please check it out and don't forget to subscribe. So, Pro Program essentially means that, uh, or how it works, is that every time I regenerate my model, I've got a large number of variables which I've set up, and I can actually get to say, I want to assign a trailer length, I want to assign a trailer uh, width, the bed type, uh, whether do I want a jack or not, uh, the RAM type, a number of tie downs, I can do that. So I'm not going to do all of these variables here. You will see why later. So when I execute this particular command, this is what I get essentially. I get Creo parametric asking me questions like, what's the length of the trailer? And so this is in inches, by the way. So I'm going to say maybe I want it 70 inches now. And then I want the width to be, let's leave it at 50. And then maybe the floor type, uh, it, there's also options there. I'm not sure you can actually see here that I've given the users the ability to choose between plank, steel, uh, and even wood. So I'm going to choose here for this design, I'm going to just choose steel. And how many tie downs do I want on the side? So at the moment, there's no tie, tie downs. I'm going to just specify three. And just like that, I've got a brand new trailer design, uh, trailer design. So what I can actually do with the power of this is that I can use together with Pro, uh, Pro Program and Weblink, I can actually do the following. So before we start, let's actually talk about what is Weblink. So Weblink is a web interface embedded inside Creo Parametric. This comes free with every seat of Creo Parametric. So you can, it allows you to take uh, custom functions or custom interfaces or web applications to interact with Creo. Uh, things like your JavaScripting, your JLink and so forth. So this is exactly the same trailer. So you can even customize this and make it to your own specific product. You can even put in your company logo, your picture and, and the like. So the same process again. So now it looks a lot more, uh, uh, I'll call it uh, aesthetically pleasing where even somebody who does not even know CAD or the guys in procurement or purchasing or whatever, this is how you can actually order a brand new trailer. I can actually say, put this 50 and the number of the size of the alloy wheels, do I want to check or not? I can actually specify that. A number of tie downs, let's make it four per side. Uh, Excel, I want to tandem or single. And this is the reason why I said that I'll do this uh, on the web link. So this is. Um, also, the, one, of, one of the options that I've actually specified there, in a sense that you can choose heavy duty, you can choose mesh, steel. So, yes, I want a rail now, and I'll leave it like that. Immediately when I execute build a trailer, it's actually going to build that trailer for me. So, all of this is actually possible with Pro Program with and Weblink as well. So, we extended a step further to say that Apart from this, when it generates this, let's also take all those screen grabs. As the model was moving forward, it was generating what we call the screen grabs for the customer, for an example, to see how his trailer is going to look like. It also generated like your, your normal 3D views, but this is the part that's very impressive. For each and every part, there was a cost associated to it. So if I take, for an example, this trailer, for an example, if you look at the, the bed size, there's a value there, there's, there's a value for the rail and all of this, and all this amounts to a set value uh, for the trailer. So that means that my costing in that is done. So that means that for coating purposes, or for doing basically point of sale products or whatever, you can actually try and, and, and use this. So 
that's essentially it for this week. Uh, if you want uh, help or assistance or you want us to actually set something up like this for you, please contact Product One. And if you like the video, please uh, uh, leave your comments as well. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much.